Hey, people injured here, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We just got done going through the Temple of Wodica. Well, kind of underneath it, really. And we learned some stuff about the Leaden Key. Three things, actually. We learned about the man who waits. Some kind of prisoner we need to find. Undying Heritage. A tower seems to be referring to Heritage Hill. Over here, northwest of the Defiance Bay. And... This, which just straight up tells us to go to Deerford Village, which is to our east. Well, But for now, we're going to be kind of milling around the city doing stuff. Like, find the heirloom breastplate of Osric. Crucible keep in first fires. Penhelm. We are in first fires right now. We came out of the, uh, the catacombs here. So let's see what's going on. We kind of need to rest, but I, I don't think there's going to be much fighting in the immediate future. When we go back to Copper Lane or yeah. anywhere else, there's a uh, inn. We'll do some resting. I don't think it lets you just camp in the city. I don't think it does. What do we got? Just a car. Aldmar, so the Crucible Greetings. Knights are kind of like guards or something. Every day we get more from the Hinterlands pouring into Defiance Bay. Keeps us busy on the watch, it does. You look like you're recently arrived yourself. What goes on in the Crucible Keep? This is the headquarters of the Crucible Knights, so it's where we store arms and armour, as well as where many of our soldiers bunk. Commander Cliver's in the back, making plans as usual. He scratches a scarred cheek. You'll find the forge at the west end of the building, along with our master smith Dunstan. There's also a shrine to the golem. If you're the praying type. Tell me about the Crucible Knights. We're the defenders of Defiance Bay. We're not exactly a formal knighthood. But don't tell, don't tell Commander Cliver that. We were the first organised militia to oppose Adirian rule. And today we're the largest force in the city. Our soldiers undergo years of combat training. And our officers are required to have their souls read by that critter out in Dunrid Row. What is this about Dunrid Row? Just a requirement of the Crucible Knights. So the higher-ups know there's nothing messy built into your soul's pass. Keeping the ranks pure is fine by me. I just wish they were more careful in hiring their ciphers. Spit it out. He shifts his weight and glances at the empty halls. They are mostly Orlans. I'm sure they're talented enough, but you just can't trust them. Hostility's in their nature, and they've learned to hide it over the years. All I'm saying is they should at least be supervised by other folk. That's reasonable enough, isn't it? Uh, sounds fair enough. I'm not being passionate or benevolent or diplomatic. Exactly, but it seems like you could hardly make a simple statement like that without someone wanting to draw steel over it. Just some casual racism in, in old Pillars of Eternity here. Oh, that's all. Move on. I'm gonna take a swig of my water. Who's this? Just a generic Justice car. We've got a door, we've got a doorway. Let's check this out. Ah, the forge. This is technically stealing. Hmm. But I can't control what Shade does. Oh, camping supplies. Well, we have no yes. need for that right now. A blade in the dark. Also technically stealing. I wonder if Shade hey. can work something out over here. My eyes are peeled. She's not being spotted. Why not? Oh. Oh, she's still not. There. Done. It's just some Veloon. Oh, did I loot that onto her? No, I didn't. That's okay. Never mind. There's Dunstan. Well, do you have stuff to sell, this Dunstan? Is about the breastplates. I already told Cleaver they won't be repaired till next week. Oh, it's Cleaver. Fair enough. Show him the pieces of the blade that of blade of the endless paths. I found several fragments of an ancient sword. Do you think you could repair it? That's a fine blade indeed. Looks Adirian. Special made. Must have been a commission for a champion of some sort. A sword of this calibre would have had... Would have had a specially designed hilt too. It would be a shame to graft anything else onto it. And besides, it'll balance best with all the original pieces. You find the rest of it and I'll forge it for you. Cool. Something else in your mind? Uh, I want to buy stuff. Was that an option? Oh, what do you do here? I'm a forge master. I'm a master smith for the Crucible Knights. 
but the way I see it, I'm also keeping up with our old traditions. The first members of our order were smiths. Nowadays, most everyone's a professional soldier. I suppose it's to be expected, but I think it's important we keep up with our roots, too. Okay, I guess not, hey. I swear that fellas did, did done voices for well, about five characters now. Budget constraints, guys. What else we got going on? It's a nice rug. Looks like this is where these soldiers bunk, eh? and they've all left their chests here for this shade to find. There, Get a bunch of XP. Just hope nobody else comes in Why here. Not? There, done. Oh, money. Why not? There, done. Oh, money. This won't stop me for long. There, done. And we just got a big level up. Just in time for this Justicard card to show up. I guess we're going to save and level up a bunch of people. Valkyr first. Okay, more athletics for that second wind heal. Okay, a talent. It is. Bonus knockdown is pretty good. Wary defender. Oh, plus five all defenses except deflection. Uh, it's okay. Could get Gallant's focus for some accuracy. It's not a huge amount though. Hold the line. I don't think we need to engage more enemies. I think we're okay there. Getting at plus 10 to most of the uh, defenses. Body control. More deflection but less attack speed. Just superior deflection is pretty good. I guess we'll go for a bonus knockdown here. Give us something vaguely offensive. Save Valkyrie's stuff. And head over to Helm and Gorst. For some more lore, and why not? Oh, hey, we have level 2 invocations. To so the summons, we've got a summon here, I think. Yep, summon 3 worms. Is there another summon here? I don't think so. That's a Cone Terrify. That's a Cone Paralyze. Oh, summon some Will-O-Wisps. Okay, we've got two summons. We'll go for the Worms, though, I think. And a Talent. Hmm. I was going to get Acolyte's Radiance. An AoE heal. Not a huge one, but still an AoE heal, and it does scale with level. Could get some health regen. Could get a wounding shot. 80% damage inflicted over time. It's not bad. Just to shoot stuff with his, uh, with his pistol. Hmm. Kind of utility do we have nothing kind of support like don't think he needs anything defensive another acolytes radiance is okay hmm i think maybe we'll grab acolytes radiance a nice per encounter AOE heal. Let's grab it. And now, save. For Marathi. Um, we're going to save your points, I suppose. You want more athletics. Talents. Oh, we can bonus spells. You can make your radiance... Brilliant and way more damage. Interdictions are pretty nice per encounter daze, but we can daze with Melek. That's some accuracy for weapons and stuff. This is uh, less healing and stat buffs for her. We don't want that. I guess we'll grab bonus second level spell here. We already have a lot of the first level ones, especially if we get that ring 
over in Copper Lane as well. Yeah, we get a bonus second level. Nice. So what is she up for now? Up to what now for it? second level five. Yeah, consecrated ground is awesome. Iconic projection is awesome. Repulsing seal we haven't even tried to use yet. So much stuff. Suppress affliction as well. Save and have a look at Melek. More athletics buddy. Level 3 spell. Hmm. I'm not sure any of these are super important for us. We've got our level 3 spells locked in, I think. Debuff the defense is pretty good. Foe AoE sickened and terrified, but it's such a short duration. Exposed vulnerabilities we'll go for. Oh, hey. Grimoire Slam, Hardened Veil. He's got a good amount of defensive stuff already. Blast, AoE attacks. I think we will go for... Bonus... A bonus first level, I think, because we like I like those uh, Ghost Blades. Good thing to spam out in a fight. Nice. Yes. And that's all our levels. Just standing around leveling up in the uh just a car's place. Nothing here. Eh? Come on now. Guess not. Thick grime kicks the bottom of the tub. Well how delightful. Got a good amount of cash here. stuff in here. Oh hey, a lot of stuff in here. Eh? Let's save so we don't get the whole place onto us. Hang on, can you mm -hmm. back close the door? I think you can. Mm -hmm. Well done. Why not? There. Done. Ah, oh, it's just a breastplate and a hooded turban. Money. Edict of arrest. Hmm. Steal a book. Unwanted. Find Eon. I should look for him in the city. I wonder if he's in the catacombs and we missed him. Well, oh, him. sorry. <laughs> I wasn't taking anything. It's all right, Mr. Justicar. So just generic Justicars. It's a painting. More stuff over here. It's got value, and let me take it. I'll take it. A shrine. An altar, even. Nothing else going on around here. Aha! Looks like a place of stuff. Ah, we just don't have the manpower. Commander Cleaver. There's a chest over there. Can eh? Shade sneak this? She can. Let's save. This won't stop there. me. Done. Just a fine war bow and some stuff. She's got some awesome stealth now with well, that hood or whatever it was she got. I think it was a hood. From every corner of the deer wood. The dozens getting them all riled up about animancy. At this rate, we'll need twice the soldiers to patrol Defiance Bay. Yes. Can I help you with something? Why don't you have enough soldiers? Uh, Fleet Breaker Castle. The High Justice has summoned almost half of my novitiates and more of my justiciars to a keep on the other side of New Hailmar. It's not for me to question the High Justice's orders, but it's left us short-handed. And mark me, we're just a couple sparks away from anarchy. Oh, they're justiciars, are they? Okay. I could be cruel. 
and get a negative, I'm 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 sticking with my cruelness and we're doing it. A scowl darkens his expression. It's more than just a career. And I never regretted it for a second. My calling is to defend the city and everyone in it, even swaggering ingrates like you. And if you dragged yourself all the way over here just to blow hot air, then you've got time to do something constructive. Forge Master Dunstan is working with an Anamancy scholar to build what we're calling Forge Knights. Warriors who can patrol our streets without suffering fatigue, disobedience or fear. Some agitator throws, throws a rock at them. We don't have to worry about things getting out of hand. He's constructed the armor, but we need the scholar's research. Unfortunately, she hasn't been around the last few times. My novitiates have checked. Viana lives with the rest of the Scriveners out in Copper Lane, but I haven't seen I haven't the soldiers to spare at the moment. Go to the Scriveners dormitory and see if you can find her. When you get the research, just bring them to Dunstan. Why are you giving me? I just insulted you. Showed up out of nowhere and he gave me work to do. I'll ha I'll take it. Once you've brought him the research, he can sell you any arms or armor you have need for. Awesome. Uh, no, thank you. I'll get the thing so I can build yes. stuff. Or buy stuff, rather. Scrivener's Dormitory in Copper Lane. Of course. That's that place we went into and everyone's just drugged out of their eyeballs, I think. Is that all of these places? I think so. There was nothing in the training room, right? Let's check again. Oh, we do have a named person, I think. Yep. Wyla, Willa. The Justicia. Gaze flicks over to you briefly before returning to the novitiates gathered in the training area. If this is about patrols, my novitiates are already stretched to their limit between the influx, the refugee influx, and the mess at Heritage Hill. I simply don't have units to spare. Something wrong at Heritage Hill. What isn't wrong is a real question. A whole district of walking, flesh-eating corpses. My kind of place. We sealed the area two months ago, just after I lost one of my finest commanders there. And yet this is the second guard rotation to disappear. There are already enough rumours about the place floating around to keep without my soldiers whispering about these disappearances. I'd just as soon abandon the district, but if those monsters should find a way out. I could look into it. After what I've just told you, you want to go to Heritage Hill? I've lost trained soldiers there. Why should I let anyone in? Uh, I could be aggressive. Your trained knights have nothing on me. You're so eager to rush your death, I won't stop you. Got my permission to enter. Okay. Tell me about Heritage Hill. It used to be one of the m most prestigious districts in Defiance Bay. But a few months ago, the residents all went mad. Started eating each other and anything else that had the bad luck to wander into the district. I've never seen anything like it. Now every novitiate that stands guard there, everyone that comes back in a way, talks of the stench of the grave and the groans of unspeakable horrors. <laughs> she holds up one plate-clad finger. The why and the how are questions for the animancers. I've sealed the di district in hopes of containing whatever happened there. It seems to be working for now. Farewell. Okay, we have an actual quest it? to go to Heritage Hill, aside from our main one, then. Okay. I don't think we're going to join uh, the uh, Crucible Knights. A bit too good for my cult, but I would like access to that blacksmith. So we'll do this first quest for them. I don't think this locks us in. To the Crucible Knights. Um, anything else I want to do here right now? I don't think so. Let's go back to Copper Lane. So I think I remember that wanted guy being in the catacombs. I think. I must have just missed him. I must have missed that guy. Or I could be wrong. But we're going to check the catacombs again. And also talk to this Dalton guy. And also go to the uh, Scrivener's dormitory. We've got stuff to do in the city. Right, catacombs. Where's Dalton? Was he here? I think he was here. 
There he is. Well met, friend. I could be cruel and keep it. I could show him I'm going to be cruel. This is a real dick move. His hands ball into fists and his eyes blaze with fury. You're no better than Helig. Get away from me. I want nothing more to do with you. But I get the Soul Ward amulet. Whatever that is. Unfortunately, I don't get his... Uh, Weapons or whatever he was going to offer us. Oh no, we lost some taxes again. We got a little bit. We got a little bit. Let's see what this amulet is up to. Plus five will. Not the greatest. Not the greatest. Actually pretty bad. Considering, considering what we have. I guess we can give it to uh, Melek over here. Yes. Sorry, Dalton. You heartless creature. That's right. I'm just going to head back into the catacombs quickly just to see if I've missed anything. So I do remember finding that guy in an undergroundy type area. It might just be somewhere else. Maybe it's in Heritage Hill. Is there anything obvious that I missed here? Hmm. Ah, yes, the other side of this whole thing. You dumbass. I don't think I went the other side of this waterway. Look at this. What the hell am I hearing here? Let's slow this down. Hmm. Maybe we should have rested first. Uh, little mushroom people or something. Do we have a trap? We don't. Oh, someone uh, someone pointed out in the comments that it's rather pointless having food in your quick slots because you can't use them in combat. So let's take them off. Indrid can carry all the food and that opens up some stuff for us. We need some traps. That was about some hail of darts and some malignant cloud. Was this again? Oh, attack speed. That's pretty good. In Driddle like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to try yeah. and trap this. Eyes are peeled. And the combat begins. Back up a bit. Back up a bit as a troll as well. Oh, the trap messed up that spalling, I think. Okay. Let's uh, start doing stuff. Now we have three knockdowns per engagement, which is pretty awesome. Just die. Awesome. There must be more stuff down there. I can hear it. Of course. Yeah. Let's go. Aha. Oh, it's a lot of them. And a troll. Let's do some spells. Hmm. <laughs> Get kind of close for this one. Let's mark the troll. Eh? If she can get there. There we go. And then shoot it. And shoot it again. 
Indra is not really close enough to a group to do his yell. But he can do some frenzying. You get your accuracy up. Marathi, come forward a little bit. Do your yell. You can do a summon over here. Valkia. Try and knock down the throat. Well done. Injured's now gone absolutely mental. Did it not hit? Grazes and grazes, damn it. Summon over here. Sure, another phantom. That grave hitting for 12. Come on, son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, another troll. Well. And that thing so that sent injured over there. Try and frighten it. So much for you. Oh, he's immune. No prisoner. Can't frighten a giant plant. Oh, he's confused injury. Or charmed him or something. Confused. Fair enough. Still alive. Spot on. Die. Can I knock this one down? We have four phrases. Let's see our worms. Oh, I think they shoot fire. Yeah, they do. Well, they didn't show up in time. Okay, look, that seems fun. Bunch of junk. And more junk. Let's save. Because that injured took quite a lot of damage there. What else is new? Oh, a body. Just a stiletto and a vessel bone. Eh? Is that something maybe hidden? Yes. Just an opal. My eyes are peeled. Well. Okay. Keep those eyes peeled. More bodies to loot. Uh, more dank spores. Indrid and shade on this one. You're just gonna frenzy. Oh, instantly get confused. Brilliant. Valkyrie is also confused. See, this is why you get those defensive talents, Indrid, to stop this kind of thing. How long Indrid staying confused for? Oh yeah, we have this. Hmm. I guess it's just. Oh, he got confused as well. So Great. What is it? Just a great fight for Indrid. Frenzied, instantly confused. Did we loot these things? I don't think we did. Of course. I hear skeletons. Oh, some money. And one of those Woodaker's Hood, one of those leaden key fools. Yes. More stuff. Potion of Iron Skin. Okay. What is it? I'll take a potion of Iron Skin. I can't believe I missed all this stuff. What a moron. Definitely hear skeletons walking around. 
through that door, I guess. But let's see what's here. On a door into what looks like the same place. What is this, though? Base level morning star. Yes. Yes, we're going here now. Hmm. Well, shade will go in here now, shall we say? Oh, I believe this is the fella, Aeon. This small Orland man appears to have pulled together some crates and scraps of cloth to make a rather sorry-looking little camp. The thick fur on his limbs is matted and his clothing smeared with blackening grime. He looks startled as he enters, his eyes widening in alarm. Hail and well met. Hello there. Wasn't expecting any visitors down in these parts. I guess you'd be a eon then. The Crucible Knights have put a heavy price on your head. Mouth falls open. I thought they'd want to keep things quiet at least. I didn't think they would. Very well, it's true. I've been hiding from the, cru the from the knights down here, but it isn't what you think. He ducks his head. It was an accident. It's been hard for me here in Defiance Bay, I suppose. I thought if I got involved in city business, if I made the right friends, I would get easier in time. It would get easier in time. And it did, really. I made a name for myself, a place people will actually listen to me when I, t when I talk. Well, they used to. People can get very passionate about these things. We were discussing, I think it was shipping agreements, of all the things to fight over but this one night this man but this one night this man he got very angry i think maybe he'd done a little much too much of the inn eon pauses and i guess he didn't like an orlan talking back to him i struck him he came towards me and i hit him and he went over like a tree i guess he struck his head on the way down turns out it was a knight crucible knights won't care how it happened they just want me gone they won't let me live long enough to see the rope I just want to get out of the city. The second I can get money for passage, I won't trouble anyone again. I swear it. I'll live quietly. But you can't. Please. You can't tell them I'm here. Hmm. Oh, I can... I can take him as a prisoner myself. I'm not going to talk about justice. I can be aggressive, I can be cruel. Or I can take him as prisoner. <laughs> Definitely not giving him any money. What the hell? This is a tough choice. Let's see. Oh, what? What is the reward? It's got to be good. Magran, help me. So be it. Oh, now he wants to fight me. Craved after. <laughs> He's pretty tough. So an arrow and a gunshot and a few stabs already. There you go. Report to Crucible Keep. Yes. He's got some oh. More crit multiplier, nothing fancy. Does anyone have a glove spot? What do you have again? Oh accurate, that's right. Guess we can give it to Valkia. Goes in here, I think. Yep. Good, good, good. Yes. What's he got in here? His little okay. hovel. Time to see and not be seen. Yeah, the chest. Queen that was has about Wudaka. Why is he learning about that? Hey, are you part of the leaden key? Still here, skeletons. Camping supplies, I guess we'll camp right now. I see something on here. Did my thing finish? It must have finished. Was the Western Barbican, I think? That was Warden's Lodge. Okay, still going. What is it? Telling me that's. Oh, it's maybe about the taxes and stuff. Well? 
Nothing else in here, eh? Sharp eyes and keen ears. Looks like it's not the same room. I don't think it's a good place to set up camp, buddy. Yeah, this won't stop me for long. There, done. Okay. Done. Dark target on the skeletal warrior. Did you do it? There we go. Right, they get up here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. That's a weird noise for a skeleton to make. Or was that Grave getting excited? Maybe it was Grave. As you wish. Lux fighting skeletons. Apparently, what was that? It's a wizard. You're gonna die so fast. I was two of them. Hey Valkyrie. Can you go knock down this one, please? I'm here. Tons of stuff to loot, I like it. As you wish. How much money do we have now? 11 grand. We've got a bunch of stuff to sell. Maybe we're close to getting that ring for oops for Marathi although I kind of want to see what this blacksmith has also what the dozens merchant has too this guy seems relatively tough-ish well the fella in here more money. Well, kind of an awkward place to fight. Okay, let's get him. Yeah, let's go. Yes. Get some loot. Where did they come at you? Yeah. All? Uh, separately over there. Some peridot. Nothing. What is it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's just a place to list names of Kickstarters, I think. Now, is that it done? Yes, it is. I knew he was down here. So this goes to the temple. So to get out, we need to go all the way back up here. Now I'm wondering what Dalton would have given to us as a reward. Because that amulet sure isn't up to much. It's got a person's soul inside of it. Yes. You'd think it would be a little bit better. I'm disappointed. So what do we do now? There's the Scriveners in... Yeah, the dormitory is in Copper Lane somewhere. There we go. Here we go. Speed. I should give you horses or something. I assume you're using horses on the overland. Or oh, these guys have got some serious cardio. Find Vienna. Yes. Oh, she's gone missing or something, they said. Do you know where Vienna is? God keep you. Looking for, looking for Vienna. I like Vienna. She's always talking about metal men, which is strange, since I'm pretty sure she doesn't eat snowcap. I don't talk about metal men either, and I do eat snowcap. Huh. Got some XP. Anyway, she's not here right now. Flew away to Andra's gift to meet her friend Bessia. No, Clessia. Yes, Clessia. Clessia is the friend she's gone to meet in Andra's gift. In a house, not a boat. North house, empty house. Andra's gift has a lot of boats. We should go rowing sometime. This guy's the best. 
Oh well. Okay. I need yes. to go through a whole other zone to look for this lady. Anything else to do in Copper Lane? Don't think so. Don't think there is. We could go and sell stuff over here. We've got some stuff to sell. Uh, let's sell it to Peregrine because we're not going to buy any of her stuff. So polluting her inventory and the junk isn't so bad. All of this. I'm going to sell Gorn's share. Decent chunk for that. And some armor. Nothing particularly exciting here, so let's just get rid of it all. Oh man. Over nine grand. Is this a drug? Yeah. Get out of here. Ripple sponge can get out of here. Gold rock chew can get out of here. Uh, and the, yeah, these scrolls are they're here because we don't want to use them. Okay. Awesome. Twenty one grand. We're gonna hold yes. off on that ring until we can find out what these other fellas have. Um. Next. Oh, did we not find Penhelm? That's the whole reason I went into that place. What a yes. moron. Let's go to first fires. How do I get there? Over here. You can hand in the uh, the fact that we killed Eora. Was that his name? I thought that was the name of this planet. There was his name. Unwanted. Aeon. That was right. First fires. This time, find Penhelm, dumbass. Maybe he's just not in there. I thought I talked to all of the named people. Lots of running. At least it looks pretty. It's just gold nameplates, people. Just this year. I don't think I've ever, ever heard that before. Alright, you can use multiple grimoires. Okay. Where do we think Penhelm might be? We ransacked everything. Oh, I missed this. All oh, right. We didn't take it because it's. We can't take it. Oh, there's Penhelm. Good day, stranger. Are you looking for something? Oh, he's wearing it as well. Does the name Osric sound familiar? He sniffs. If you've got any self-respect, you won't associate with him. Or with any of his new friends in the expedition hall, for that matter. Scamps and delinquents, the lot of them. He says your affidavit is a forgery. Just what would he know about that? It's perfectly convenient for him to cast aspersions, what with his pedigree in the knights. It's a lie, of course. Is that his breastplate you're wearing? It was. It became property of the Crucible Knights when he was discharged. Now it's mine. And it's not for sale, if that's what you're wondering. Not every day you find armor that was used in the rebellion. We got some XP. What's the story between you two? Osric has always held some controversial opinions, but they went overlooked for the longest time because his family had such extensive history of service. He finally went too far. He had the gall to suggest that we had strayed too far from our roots, that some of our officers were beginning to resemble nobility. Okay. Mm, kind of, I don't see a problem. I'm not getting involved. People change. Organizations change. The Crucible Knights began as militia of blacksmiths, but Dunstan's one of the only officers who can wield a hammer these days. Enough about Osric. Farewell. 
Okay. Bring Penhelm's affidavit to Curran. Penhelm seems to have taken Ostrich's armor for his own. I have his affidavit. Oh, I must have looted it without even realizing. Ha! Yes. Okay. Is that literally in my inventory? Is it just like tucked away somewhere? What are these things updating? Open the right thing. Oh my goodness, please. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Hadrick House in Brackenbury. Okay. So we've got a reason yes. to go to Brackenbury now, a reason to go to Ondra's Gift. They're sending us all over the place. Alright, oh, who do I talk to about Eorn? To tell me? Someone will likely be interested. Okay. Maybe this fella. Information about Eorn. Eorn, you said? Well, what became of him? He lowers his voice. I found him in the catacombs and killed him there. Well, nicely done then. Eon seen to. And already buried. You've saved us a good deal of work. Give me some money. 200? Give us some XP at least. I had to dig through the catacombs to find him. Surely it's worth a little more. Come on now. Suppose you're right. 50? Well, whatever. Well? It's something. It's something. So now, off to uh, Brackenbury. I'm pretty sure that's where uh, the man who waits is. I think they have like an asylum or something there. Let's go to Brackenbury. I haven't been there yet. Is it here? It's right outside. Here we go. Takes 15 minutes to get there, apparently. How are we doing with this? How much time is, like, passing? Why can't I bloody see it? Warden's Lodge, 12 hours. Well? Nedin? Animancers? What's going on? Welcome. Uh... Muttering to herself, she's fixated on the pages of a large and well-worn tome, seemingly oblivious to the blooming flowers and the cool, fragrant breeze. Do you mind? I'm busy. What are you busy with? Just being nosy now. I'm studying soul attachment. We all know that souls move into people at birth and out of them at death, but we still have a lot of questions about what makes them stick, so to speak. What do you mean? Souls power bodies and give their ish tissues life. But only when they're firmly attached, it's separation that leads to a whole spate of soul-related ailments, including the hollowborn. But if we understood how to reattach souls, we could end Widewind's legacy, maybe even conquer death. That's the theory, anyway. And unfortunately, I don't have all the research I need to put it into practice. What do you need? There's a manuscript called The Theorems of Pangram. It contains research from Pangram's experiments... Hall of Revealed Mysteries is rumoured to have a copy. In the Elder Archives. Did I not already loot that place? Theorems could advance my research. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe she could be persuaded. Oh, I've got them. Better give me a good reward here. Give her the theorems. You'll never believe what I've found. We've got 500 copper, I'll take it, and some XP. Quite a lot of it, too. Awesome, thank you so much for being valuable. Is that all? Ah, of course. She pulls a ring from her finger. It might not look very much, but I've always been able to use this ring to generate a little extra money when I was between stipends. It's critical for someone doing research. Okay. The Ring of Eternal Funding. Uh, farewell. That was an easy quest. Plus fight what? Q 
gives you a small amount of copper. I think it gives a small amount of copper every, like, after every quest. It's so small, though. What is it? So what is this place here? This is the sanitarium. That sounds like a place a prisoner would be. There's Hadrit House. House Dominal. Dominal. These guys, this is, one, this is the third faction. You've got a Dozens, Crucible Knights, and Dominals, I think. They're like a crime family, I believe, so they might be cool to join. Of course. Let's have a look in here. Because you might see the man who waits, waiting around. And they've got guards. Verna. I can apparently just take stuff here. I'm okay with that. Take the books. Oh, it's just a gold nameplate person. Uh, oh, a statue talking. Head Warden Ethel Moore. A well-maintained statue of a middle-aged man presides over the room, looking down unblinking over the bustle of harried academics pestered by the hopeful desperate. A strong warmth emanates from it that you could sense from across the room. There's a human soul stored Beneath the stonework, you feel its attention turns towards you like the steward. It has been some time since a watcher graced these halls. I'm envious of your natural insights, Traveller. I can only imagine how it might have helped my work in life. Uh, you may have a member of the Leaden Key in your midst. Does he you know what that is? I could have done without hearing that today. Many have their intrusions been into our affairs. Many have their intrusions have been into our affairs. Okay. Of course, one can seldom be certain whether they've meddled or whether calamity has struck on its own, but a few of their less skilled infiltrators have been exposed. Perpetual nuisance. Once again. So maybe they're like common knowledge, Leaden Key. I'm reminded of how envious I am of your gifts. I suspect that it would be some use in verifying one's identity. You're at odds with the Leaden Key as well, I take it? Yes, I am. Um, they have something I need. I hope it isn't knowledge you seek. They are seldom keen to part with it. Do you have some idea who the person might be? I suspect he's a patient. Very well. In that case, I would recommend you speak first with our resident animances. They have frequent interaction with both patients and colleagues. You'll find them up here or in the offices downstairs. Report to him immediately, blah, blah, blah. Farewell. Let's steal some more books. It's a cool looking place. What was that? Like a journal that we just picked up. Oh, a midwife's memoirs. More things to steal. Lovely. Lovely. I guess we're going downstairs, are we? Let's check these rooms out first. More books. Yeah. There's really nothing else in here. Bloody hell. Well. Fancy looking rooms with nothing in them. Uh Someone given some kind of class over here. Talking about a biowack, which we have some experience with. Okay, looks like we're going downstairs. That fellow wouldn't even talk to us. Okay. Bit more rickety downstairs. Flanked by doors are these cells. Bella Sieg. Hail traveler. With a purple name. She almost walks into you. Ekozi. Here I am, looking so hard for answers in my research, I do not see Kith standing in front of me. What can I do? Have you noticed anything unusual? What do you do here? Oh, she's Valian. They're kind of uh, Italian themed people. Italian inspired. 
and Balassi. It is rare for me to notice things that, I, that do not relate to my work, even when they're in front of me. Sientero amico. But I'm not the best choice to help you with that. What does it mean? Something else you need? I guess. What do you do here? According to my research one, I study awakenings. Sublimate, subliminating. Subliminate, sublimating. Pre-awakened souls has been one of my... One of my anim I can not read today. And I'm working on a method to replicate the process on awakened souls. She gnaws at her lip. But the truth is that I find few suitable subjects here. Wide One's legacy has left plenty of awakened souls, but most are too broken for study. I'm awakened. I've been recalling flashes of a past life. Most interesting, but not the kind of awakening I can study, I'm afraid. I need someone whose awakened soul can be triggered with predictable stimuli. Souls such as those tend to manifest as alternate personas in the host. But I thank you for the offer. Like uh, Aloth, the wizard we killed. What is Hours it? and hours and hours ago now. The man who waits. Addendum. Modred. In here. Can steal. An animator scribbles feverishly on a parchment scroll while his free hand dances through the air. Counting off unseen objects, his lips move in silent discourse. As your shadow falls over his scroll, he looks up at you with mingled perplexity and irritation. Welcome. Can I help you? He's not happy. Anything unusual around here? He must be joking. He's a sanitarium. Nothing is usual down here. Although, now that I think of it, the patients seem more agitated lately. But they're Cademan Azo's responsibility, not mine. Then if there's nothing else, what are you working on? My area of focus is wicks. More specifically, how to cure them. I see. Just looking around. Then be quick about it. Don't touch anything. The San Antonio has lax visitor policy. But I don't. What about this chest over here though, buddy? Let's save. Okay. A large weathered trunk. It seems to contain something important. If only by virtue of its size. Examine the trunk more closely. Nothing grabs your attention. Except for a large padlock on the front. Whatever this animacy, animacy keeps in here. There's not anyone else to have or see. We're going to open the trunk. Oh. We need to find a key. Fine. Well, Maybe it's on his corpse. Can I look in here? Some money in here. I kind of want that money. Of course. But I don't think we could do that sneaking. Ripley. And this a thing that I, it lets me just unlock. There. Uh, oh. It's like notes on patients. Talk to Ethel Moro about Azo. A note from Azo. Did I get it? I did. What was that? More copper tubing for my next experiment. What? Oh. Doing something sneaky. What's Ripley got Greetings. to say? What do you do here? I startled her, apparently. I mostly help Master Azo set up and clean his equipment. I also keep his office organized. Well, what is it? Why are you, do you even have a conversation for me? Nothing in here. Sharp eyes and keen ears. Guess not. Go back up and talk to the statue fella and then most likely put to the end to this episode they're coming up to an hour I'll try not to go over because that's crazy oh he's over here Damas Hail and well met. I found records that Azo might be running some questionable experiments Experiments. Cademan Azo is in charge of patient welfare now. He's not authorized to run any more experiments. I'm disappointed in Cademan. I'd hoped he would be the one to guide your inquiry. I haven't even find him yet. He'll be in his office or in the patient wards. I'm granting you immediate access so you can find him. No doubt you'll wish to speak to him further on this matter, and I for one am curious as to what he might have to say. I've got a lot of help from this guy, complete strangers that have walked in. Tread carefully in the wards. There are a few dangerous cases, and I ask that you will do not... Do your best to agitate the patients. To not agitate the patients. They have enough troubles as it is. 
Oh well. So we can go into that door at the end of the hallway where all the super crazy people are. And best to get the patient ward. I'm sure it's fine. Alrighty then. I guess we'll leave it here for this episode, guys. And next time, we have a look at what's in the patient ward. I'm sure it's fine. See if we can find the man who waits. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.